Welcome to episode 547, Thornstein Hagen and the Viking Cruise. This is an outline of episode 547. There are three reasons we study Thornstein Hagen. First, he's the river cruise king of the world. Second, he survived bankruptcy and cancer. Third, he co-founded Viking River Cruise in 1997 at the age of 54. Let us meet Thernstein Hagen. I had lost everything I had in life. I had recovered from uh, cancer and uh, I had nothing left. Uh I grew up along a river, a small river in Norway, so I like water, but I, if I should be absolutely brutally honest, I like to see water from fixed land. And then I like to see land from a ship docked like here in Dubrovnik, and then we can go back and have our gin tonic or a cup of coffee. But I think the fascination is really not the water we are on, but it's a place that we go to. He was born in Norway in 1943. For education, he holds a bachelor degree in physics from the Norwegian Institute of Technology and an MBA from Harvard University in 1968. After Harvard, he worked at McKinsey, where he was involved in the rescue of the Holland American Line bankruptcy in 1974. In 1976, he became CEO of Bergen Steamship Company from Norway. And he was the CEO of the Royal Viking Line for four years. In the early 1990s, he acquired 27% stick in Netloy, a Rotterdam-based shipping company. He lost a lot of money and almost became bankrupt. Now he did the amazing thing. At the age of 54, he founded Viking River Cruises with four ships in St. Petersburg, Russia, with the help of the Russian oligarchs. We don't know who helped him. He found four ships to more than 50 ships. We have 50% market share of the river cruise business. Company chairman Torsen Hagen has never been bashful about his product. The Viking difference. We are very clear as to who we, who we are and who we are not. If you see underneath the restaurants here, there are some windows. So we have a full three-deck ship. So we have m much more square footage so that we can then get more people on this footprint. Increased efficiency and an overall better guest experience. So we save money. And what do we do with that? We use that to have a lower price to the guests. He also boasts of smaller and quieter engines, not only making for a smoother ride, but it frees up space in the back for additional suites. Most river cruise ships cannot use the aft cabins because they have a conventional propulsion system. We have a hybrid propulsion system, which makes very little noise. We on the difference between river cruise and ocean cruise. Okay, so Tor, you specialize in this. Give me the difference between a regular cruise that people are more familiar with, you know, an ocean cruise, as opposed to a river cruise. Well, an ocean cruise is a ship with uh, 4,000 people on board, and a river cruise has 150, 200 passengers. Uh -huh. Aha. That's a big difference. We are small and intimate, and what we do is go from, uh, you can say, a city like Amsterdam through the continent of Europe to Budapest. And it's a great way of seeing uh, inland cities, uh, the, the shore side. It's a very intimate experience. I would think, too, uh, that since you're traveling along the river, there's a lot more to see than when you're just on the ocean. Of course. And uh, if you think about it, civilizations grew up along the rivers. So that's where you have the, 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 that's where you have the history of uh, various continents, both Europe, China, mm -hmm. Russia for that matter. The expansion of Viking River Cruise into Ocean Cruise in 2015. Why the Viking Star? How is that different? 
Well, it's going to be new, and I think it's going to set a very new trend in the cruise industry. It's going to give those people who have fallen in love with Viking River an opportunity to actually get to destinations that rivers don't take them to. They For Americans, one of the most popular ocean cruise is the Alaskan Viking Cruise. What have I learned today? Two things. First, after 27 years of financing and managing ships, at age 54, he made a big plunge and founded his company, Viking River Cruise, with the help by Russian oligarchs. Second, now at age 76, he's the river cruise king of the world. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and leave your questions and comments below. My next video will be Thornston Hagen, Nine Lessons. Wishing everyone peace and prosperity.